Do you know how many calories to eat? Do you know about what salt does to the body? You know the type of food to stay away from. You know how to get your body really toned. Like you are like an exercise guru. You know how to place on makeup really well. You know how to fix up your hair really good. You, you know so many earthly things. But when it comes down to the things that really matter, spiritual things, you take no interest in it. You may have a really nice body, but how long are you going to keep that body? I think so many people, and this is not wrong, physical fitness is not wrong, but I think so many people are into how their body looks. I was on this one website, and I think they have, I'm serious, man. I forget exactly what it is, but I think they have some type of thing that you can place on your behind to make it bigger or make it shaped a certain way. Like people really spend their money on stuff like that. Like, you may care about your physical image so much, but how much are you caring about what is really important? I think some people live as if they aren't going to die. Like, as if they are going to stay in this type of existence forever. Like, for instance, let's say you go on a camping trip and you are going to an area only one time and you won't ever come back but you are only going to be there one time, but what you do, you take all the items from your house, put it in a truck, build a cabin or something where you are camping and place all your stuff in the cabin when you know that you are only going to be there one time and only for a week, what use is that? What use is that? If you know you are going to be somewhere for a short time, why live in that area or place as if you are going to stay. We aren't going to stay here. Is physical fitness wrong? Is getting a toned body wrong? Is getting stomach muscles <laughs> wrong? No. But if you are placing that to the forefront of your life and not placing God in your life, what use are, like, what use is it? Why should I live on this earth as if, as if I will never leave? I was, 
communicating with someone and I believe that person is trying to have I guess a successful or perfect life without fully submitting himself to God. How is that possible? Yes, you can get rich, but does that mean you are successful in life? I guess in earthly terms, yes, but my, my, my. If you aren't seeing things in a spiritual manner, what are you doing? If God made this world, if his rules govern existence, why should I go against his rules? Oh man, wouldn't that mean I am making a harder time for myself. Myself, let me say it like this. I don't like working harder than I have to. If someone told me, Kevin, pick up six sticks, let me pick up six, six sticks. Let me not go on top of a tree <laughs> and break down more sticks and make more work for myself. Man, what am I trying to say to you? I believe when you try to go against God's rules, I believe you are making more work for yourself. I don't like that. I want an easier time in this life. So what do I do? I try to learn more things about Jesus Christ. I try to learn more things about God. Why? Because I don't want to make more work for myself. Living in sin, choosing to do what is wrong, I believe you are making more work for yourself. Huh? Yeah? I don't like that. Let me make things easier on me. In my past, I did so much wrong. And it took me a while, but I believe I started to catch on. Hey, the more bad I do, I guess more bad things happen. The more sick I get. I used to be so sick in my past, so ill. I used to work out so much. I used to go on runs. Can you imagine that? Uncle Kev jogging for half hour, hour or more. Wanted to be in real good shape, you know, to do evil. <laughs> Maybe that is not funny. God, please forgive me. Wanted to be in real good shape to do wrong. But I was so sick. Look at me now. <laughs> Probably not near the shape I was back then. <laughs> I don't even think my endurance is even the same. Not even nearly as active as I once was. was. But I am more healthy now. How is that possible? Can I say probably one of the reasons I was so sick may be because of my sins, right? Because if I am less active, I don't run, jog as much as I did before. I don't even, I hardly ever exercise. and I'm eating pretty much the same types of food, but I am more healthy. I hardly go to the doctor. Back in the past, I believe I would go to the emergency room or ER, whatever it is called, probably about 
four or five times a year or more around let's say three times or more a year for a while i think for some years now when was the last time i went to the emergency room i don't even know i don't know Look now, care less about the temporary. Your abs, your toned body, that stuff there is temporary. Care more about your spiritual life. I think there is, my, my, my. Do what you have to do to focus on God. If there is something taking away so much of your time from God, you may have to let it go. You may have to change your job. You may have to give up that car. You may have to leave that boyfriend or girlfriend. You may have to leave your mom and dad alone for a while. Give God time. Learn about God, change your ways, because no matter how good your job is, no matter how much money you have, you have to leave the earth. So if you have to leave, aren't you going to leave that job anyway? If you are going to die, aren't you going to have to leave that money, your mother, your father, or whatever else? Yes, so why not do it now? Why not do it now? Yes, you may have to leave those friends, yes. But isn't it worth it? I believe so. Stop placing the temporary very high in your life. Focus on God more. Myself, yes, I have a very boring life, but I am content. I am content with that. Yes, I want to travel and stuff like that, but I am content with having a boring life. Yes, I could do more things, but I am happy, you know, I'm praying and hoping that I get to heaven. I don't have to go to the club anymore. I don't have to, you know, spend so much money on clothes and shoes and stuff like that. I am content. You know, I believe I am elevating higher in God. Hopefully. And I am content and I will raise higher. I believe my life is in Christ and I am happy with that. I don't have to smoke marijuana. I don't have to do crack and, and smoke cigarettes and get drunk. I don't have to do that. I pray that this makes sense. Get off the temporary. I think someone asked me, what do I look for or what are my goals? Well, my goals is to get to heaven. <laughs> my goal is not trying to get the best job in the world, the highest paying job in the world making $80 million, all this earthly, temporary, that is not my goals. Earthly success, yes, I want more money, <laughs> yes, but my goals is not so much earthly success. My goal is to raise higher in God and get to heaven. So I guess I am boring if you see it in that way. I'd rather be boring on this earth and get to heaven than to be very exciting and outgoing and all this stuff here than go to hell for doing the wrong things. So let me stop here. God bless you.